right, hi guys, my name is Hannah Johnson and I'm a senior at Lincoln Southeast High School. Midnight! And this is titled, When It's Real. Imagine, it's 7.45 a.m. and you're standing out on the field. Color guard is counting loud and the band kids aren't counting loud enough. It's the sixth full run through and it is clear that the directors are just trying to add weights to the bags that already hang from our sleepless eyes. My section stands to the right of me while the drum majors stand tall in the front. We let out a groan when they blast reset over the loudspeaker, seventh full run through. In the middle of it all, two fire trucks come racing down the street, past the field, and into a school parking lot. It takes me a second to realize that that's our school parking lot. I yell out focus in a voice that, voice that is much more confident than mine. We have a competition in two days, yet there seems to be no distraction for the knot that sits in my stomach. The band comes to a collective halt and nobody makes a noise. We try not to make it obvious, but eyes start to make their way to the loud red and blue lights. Three ambul ambulances aren't short behind, and an emergency response vehicle trails last. A smaller, a smaller sibling. Would you call that scary? Because I would call it a Thursday. Any sound left over is gently absorbed into the grass. The music, conversation, conversation, and the traffic all stand still. Like if we moved, we'd be pulling triggers of our own. My attention now fully lies on the measure of worry and outnumbers the measure of music. My teachers, friends, and classmates suddenly trapped in a building where I have no way of knowing what's going on, and I find myself expecting the worst. It's been on the news for weeks. It's so hard to get away from the word shooting, and now I finally thought, now it is our turn. Why should anyone expect that this could happen to them? Why do I find myself preparing for the end of the world, not knowing if it will come when I am ready? Why is it my responsibility to march for our lives, not knowing if I'll be able to march the next day? Please hear me loud and clear when I say gun control is not the same as a gun ban. Grasping the barrel, my, narrow, my neighbor with the MAGA hat knows a weapon better than he knows his own children. Even if it saved one, just one of us, would it be worth it? Would you give up a few hours on the range if it meant that Sandy Hook parents got to give their kids a thousand more hugs? What about the shooting trip to Colorado if it meant that Parkland students got to remember red for Valentine's Day and love instead of that time they had to step over their classmates' bodies? You never know what that feels like until you know what that feels like. And right now, I feel selfish for wanting the one thing that should be rightfully guaranteed, my safety. That's all it is, right? A headline for a day, we stand, we scream, we throw popcorn at the screen, and we cry. But can anyone tell me why we sit right back down with our phones and our snacks while we wait for the credits, credits to roll with our body counts and names when we should be walking out of the theater? There was an accident at the school that morning, but that's all it was, an accident. They won't all be accidents though now, will they? I became an innocent child again as I stood out on that field blindsided in the dark. 200 hearts froze and 200 stomachs sank in slow motion. Nobody moves, nobody speaks, and I take it as a sign to wait for the next time when it is real. <laughs>